Hey guys, welcome back to Black Ops 3 Zombies. Today I'm going to show you guys the best strategy for Kino de Toten. If you enjoy it, leave a like and subscribe, and let's get straight to it. Um, for those of you that like to sit here and do one round challenges, or uh, one room challenges, that that's personally not me. But for those of you that maybe do enjoy that type of, type of gameplay, I have a very good strategy for y'all out there today. But... Just before we get into that strategy, if you guys are interested into this type of content, be sure to leave a like because that always tells me what kind of content is doing the best on this channel because obviously I would like the most feedback I can get. That way I can produce better content in the future. So basically all you want to do is bring the zombies up and stand here. Great idea. I bet you guys didn't expect that, did you? So it's literally round one. I'm standing here. And you literally come to this part, this third, third of a section. See, look, you can literally just pull them back and forth all day. You walk down the stairs, they're coming this way. But as soon as you, like, as soon as you step past, like, this point. So, literally, as soon as you line up with this second bar, they go around the other end. And, of course, you can drop back down the stairs. Just, just the, like, literally the third stair down. And then they'll start to pull back around. You can walk up here. You can literally just sit here and do nothing all day and win zombies. Like, I, I say win zombies, but you're not actually going to win zombies. So I'm going to go ahead and kill these real quick and do this on a higher round. Look, even that zombie started to come this way. Look, you see that zombie over there? He's going to the staircase. And then look. Okay, if you do it at too, too, if you do it too late... If you do, if you guys do it too late, you might mess it up. But you've seen that zombie was literally on the second stair coming up, and he's still going the other way. Um, but yeah, like I just showed you, if you let any of these zombies come up too far, then you might mess it up. But I'm literally dragging them from that barrier all the way around. And as long as you keep them close enough, then it'll work. I'm going to go up this way. They're going to turn directions. I'm going to come down this way. They're going to turn directions. So obviously, if you guys are training them like this... Get them all grouped up together. And then run up the stairs. You're always going to be faster than them. Come to the third of the section right here. Um, depending on how far up the staircase they are, you might have to go farther this way. But as you see, I've changed their direction completely. And again, I'll run down the stairs, and they're, they're changing directions. Go up the stairs. I'm changing their direction once again. Um... But yeah, obviously this wouldn't be a zombies video without me going to a high round and then trying this. So we are going to get a quick time lapse of me going up round by round. Just kidding. Obviously no one wants to watch a time lapse of zombie rounds. So let's just get a quick let's just get a quick skip to round 10. But before we get into that, I want to quickly show you guys a quick clip I got last night of me telling a certain streamer this tip, and he actually tried it on stream in front of hundreds of people, and this was his response. Okay. You didn't bring enough hell pigs to take on the Soviet! I wish we could do some hype stream like that, I really do. Stand near the middle of the balcony and all the zombies will only come up on one side. Oops. Near the middle of the balcony. Oh, you're right. Yeah, look at that. They all come up on the right side. That's pretty cool. I like that. I do like that. That's nice. And yeah, that's how you know I'm not bullshitting you. And plus, I really like watching that streamer, O Custom. So yeah, I figured I would show you that clip. All right, boys. Slight change of plans. I want to skip up to round six. Um, but I'm going to just show you really quickly that this does work with the Hellhounds as well. So look, dog going that way, dogs coming this way, dogs are going that way, half their dogs are going that way, it works up to a certain point, dogs are coming this way now, he literally turned around fully, um, so yeah this can obviously be really useful if you want to get off, a, um, if you want to get off the revive, um, or suppose, suppose you guys want to reload a big weapon. Or if you guys want to like, you know, I don't know. 
suppose there was a perk machine up here you guys could pop that whenever you want to or you can revive a teammate on the ground you can hit the mystery box you can reload like the RPD or something so this literally opens up opportunity for you to do so much because obviously from the from that stair all the way up to this stair is going to be a lot of space to dip like a lot of distance to cover so for the zombies or you know dogs to go around the entire way from that stair to this stair can take you know it can free up a good I don't know like 20 seconds like suppose there's a big herd running you can you can free up like 10 seconds maybe at most but I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here I wanted to show you guys this quick one room strategy I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to title the video but by now you guys have seen so thank you so much for watching if this tip helped you out share it with your call of duty friends um, so they can complete Kena one room challenges as well and yes I will see you guys all in the next video Peace out.